Wow, that was a pretty tough workout. But I'm sure I'll feel a lot better after I get cleaned up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian Bentley. And I always try to get a vigorous workout at least three times a week. Lately, I've noticed that I can maintain a faster pace for a longer time if I keep one of these handy while exercising. Which makes me wonder, what's science got to do with my sports drink? Scientifically formulated sports beverages first came on the scene in the 1960s. And today, you can find a variety of choices available at most local grocery stores. How are sports drinks different from other beverages? And what makes them particularly well-suited for intense physical activity? Let's exercise our right to find out. The main purpose of sports drinks is to keep an athlete hydrated and prevent them from overheating. They're also designed to replace certain key chemicals in the body, chemicals that a person loses when they sweat. Sweat, of course, is the body's built-in mechanism for regulating internal temperature. Do you have any idea how many sweat glands the average person has in their body? The answer might surprise you. It's more than two and a half million. Here's how they work. When your body heat rises due to the increased rate of metabolism during exercise, the sweat glands are stimulated to excrete a liquid out of the body through pores in the skin. This liquid is mostly water carried from the fluid that surrounds the body's cells. In addition to water, sweat contains electrically charged molecules, or ions, of sodium, chloride, and potassium. These ions, called electrolytes, are what the body uses to carry the electrical charges necessary for critical functions like heartbeat muscle movement and brain activity. During intense exercise, a person is likely to lose at least a liter of sweat per hour. In hot, humid conditions, that amount may be two liters per hour or more. So, during prolonged exercise, it's important to replenish that fluid and to maintain the proper level of electrolytes in the body. Sports drinks are formulated to accomplish both of those tasks while also providing carbohydrates to give the athlete a readily available source of energy. One of the challenges that scientists faced in developing sports drinks was how to get the fluid, the electrolytes, and the energy-producing carbohydrates into the athletes during high-intensity activity without making them feel bloated or full. Through research, they found that if the electrolyte concentration in the fluid was equal to that of a resting person's blood plasma, that's the liquid part of blood, the fluid would be absorbed into the bloodstream from the small intestine even faster than water. Additional research indicated that to provide as much energy as possible without slowing down that absorption rate, a carbohydrate content of 6% would be ideal. Of course, if the sports drink doesn't taste good, especially when you're hot and sweaty, it doesn't really matter what the electrolyte and carbohydrate levels are because people won't want to drink it. And one more key to a sports drink's overall effectiveness is how well it takes the human thirst mechanism into consideration. In other words, what causes us to be thirsty? Does quenching a dry and thirsty mouth mean the body is fully rehydrated? No. When we're physically active, thirst is not an accurate measure of our body's fluid needs. What tells our brain we're thirsty is a drop in blood volume caused by fluid loss or sweat, combined with an increase in the salinity or saltiness of the blood. Despite the fact that there are sodium electrolytes in our sweat, we lose a lot more water than electrolytes. So the sodium concentration in our blood actually increases as we sweat. Plain water responds to both of those stimuli, but it quenches the thirst 
before the body is fully rehydrated. A sports drink containing a small amount of sodium rehydrates the athletes more completely because the sodium in it perpetuates the feeling of thirst longer, causing the athlete to consume more of the beverage. Interestingly, the sodium in the sports drink also heightens fluid retention, meaning the athlete produces less urine than if he or she consumed the same amount of water. So, if you ever wondered why sports drinks taste the way they do, the sodium makes them a little salty, the simple sugars in the carbohydrates make them a little sweet, and a bit of citric acid adds a tart, refreshing taste. Scientific evidence supports the value of sports drinks for people exercising for extended periods of time, especially in hot, humid weather. But what about people running just a couple of miles, exercising for less than an hour, or simply working around the yard? According to the American College of Sports Medicine, those folks aren't likely to need the electrolyte and energy boost of a sports drink. And Water should satisfy their hydrational needs just fine. For them, it's just a matter of choice and taste. Well, I better get to that shower right after I finish this. <laughs> <laughs>